Hey everybody, I want to show y'all a little turbine that come from somebody that wanted to have it repaired. Not worth repairing. Now, I'm going to show you something here and you'll see why. This is a very roasted turbine. Now, we found out why and we're going to get conclusive about why. We're going to explain that. The uh, little turbine he had on it, he, he had this on a houseboat in, uh, in Lake Tahoe. And I'm sure he's looking at this right now because I'm doing the video and you get to see it. <laughs> um, and he's not a YouTuber, but his daughter is. And uh, they sent it to me figuring, hey, it quit, can you fix it? Well, I can tell you now, there's no fix in this. And so I had her send me a few pictures and we're not gonna go there on the pictures. Um, but what they were using for a controller. Now, the controller they had, they purchased out of the uh, Midwest. I don't know where, she just said a, a guy that does a lot of YouTube videos was advertising these or had them on his website. <sighs> they charged him um, and because I have some of these, this is for a trolling motor, okay? Because I've got a boat and it's for a trolling motor or it's for RV batteries, you know, if you're like you want to bypass the RV batteries. This is not continuous duty. I don't give a damn what someone tells you. This is not continuous duty. If you want a continuous duty solenoid like this, look below, I'll put a link. This is just a Pollock. It's dirt cheap. I can get these from AliExpress for like six bucks. And the guy in the Midwest, wherever the hell he's at or whoever the hell he is, he's selling these things with a little controller that looks like a little brain, you know, thing, a little digital display, and this. And then what it does is it diverts your power. So that thing will kick on for like five seconds at a whack and just pull your batteries down to nothing. In the meantime, it's causing a massive load on this because when the amps in that battery get drawn down real hard, that's trying to keep up. Now I took inside here and I cleaned up the slip ring. This is, if you guys don't know what this is, that's a slip ring. It's got in the back brushes. Let me see there, set of brushes back there. And that allows this turbine to turn and still send the power down through the pipe. Now, in this one's case, this little turbine is like a little 300 watt turbine, probably produced 300 in a good windstorm. Um, it's pretty beat up. I guess you can say living on the lake is not exactly very friendly to some of this paint. They, these Chinese use the damnedest paint. Um, that's why you notice I repaint all of mine. I don't, don't use theirs. I actually prep it and repaint them. But this little thing here, they sell this little $7 <sighs> God, what do you want to call that? A um, an occasional use solenoid for fifty freaking dollars, fifty bucks, claiming that it's a diversion load controller. I'll put you the link to where you can buy these if you want one. They're like seven bucks. I mean, maybe ten bucks with shipping. I can get them by the armloads. I use these in motor homes. As I use it in motor homes, there's your control wires. There's your either your your on or off or your off or on, you know, the way that the solenoid plates work in this. And all it is is just a big copper plate that's lifted up and moved back and forth to change the contact points. That solenoid over time, click, 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 click. It's not a continuous service solenoid. This is a solenoid that you use for your trolling motor. So you got your battery, you got your foot pedal, you got your switch, and you want to turn the power on to it and pull power from your battery. Well, it sends it through and then you run your trolling motor. Um, this is a solenoid you use for like a big cooling fan on your RV or something like your motorhome it has a big, huge fan in the front and that'll kick on. But not constantly, every time the battery reaches 15 volts or 14 volts, just click, knock it down to 12, back on again, click down to 12, click back. And this can do this. And if you use this in a solar controller, you're smoking crack because this is a good way of setting your house on fire. 
What will happen is these things will lock into place. That solenoid plate, that connection, that, that contact will lock into place and then it'll just feed power from your batteries into a huge resistor bank until your batteries are pulled so low and got so hot they melt your cables and catch fire. So, you know, a lot of people think that this is a good item to use. You don't use this. Look at the results. What if that, what if his wiring coming down the hill wasn't heavy enough or what coming down, I think he had it in his, in the back of his boat where his batteries were. Ugh. Um, but this is just a simple little turbine. It's not impressive. Um, I've had similar models of them. I don't really like them. I had one given to me. I tried it out. It worked. You know, windstorm made like 240 watts. But imagine if that would have been in his battery bank. Now, what happened is he only used he only used a six gauge wire on here, and the wire burnt, and it blew the fuse. So he was lucky. They smelled plastic burning. He shut everything off, but it was too late. It done ate that up. So. Here's the deal. And of course, when it when this fails, guess what happens? That overspins. Oops. So you want to use genuine quality. You see that? That's a Mager. Let me get that name on there for you. That's a Mager. You want to use genuine quality SSRs, solid state relays, like you see in my other videos. Uh, I, I really, really swear by those. You can take the same control wires that go to this and put them to this. Make sure you put this on a heat sink and you'll see that too. If you want, I'll put the links down there below or you can ask me in a post and I'll tell you where you'll get these. The Magers are the ones that can absolutely survive. The Fotex and other brands and all these knockoff brands, I wouldn't trust them. But this is a joke. If you are paying $50 for a $7 item, you're getting screwed. And if somebody charges you 50 bucks for this, with some little $3 LCD display, you're getting screwed. Don't buy anything from people that screw you, man. If this means they're screwing you, what else are they selling you? They're screwing you. So this is dangerous. This is safe. This fails in the off position. This always, always fails in the locked position because that's where the heat welds the copper plate and terminals together. Fire risk non-fire risk and if you put two of these side by side and one fails you still have resistance you can't put two of these side by side because what will happen is with the amount of power this thing here will suck out of your batteries two would just absolutely destroy your batteries one will destroy your batteries over time two will destroy them real quick but you don't want that that's what you want so i'm just giving you all a rundown of what we got here and for folks who want to know what is that slip ring all about, it's just brushes that touch three contacts that are allowed to spin. See, the wires here will spin because imagine that's on the pole and this is the part turning. It'll spin and make contact and send the power down. So it's a set of brushes like what's on electric motor touching these three points. His wires were burnt a little bit where the connections were at. I pulled them back and stripped them. They're nice and clean so they didn't get hurt. They're a little burnt in here, and there was a lot of burn inside of here we cleaned out. But that is not worth saving. So we're not going to save that. We're not even going to try. This is a $150 turbine that's going in the scrap pile. All right. Guys, I just want to give you all an update of what to avoid. I've been doing this wind turbine thing for a decade, and I can tell you, don't get ripped off. That's a bad thing. Alright, y'all be good.